What up guys, it's Jay here from TV Time with Jay, and I'm back once again with another review for you guys, and this time I'm here to review This Is Us Season 5, Episode 4, Honestly. Now as per usual in my episode reviews, I'll be recapping the events of the episode, and then going over my thoughts and feels about the different plot points all throughout. So if you haven't seen the episode yet, do yourself a favor, watch the episode first, then come back here and tell me your thoughts and feels in the comments down below, because I will be going into spoiler territory, you have been warned. Okay, so this episode was a little slow, but uh, by the end I really got into it. Uh, because uh, some interesting stuff happens. So, in the past section, we have kind of Rebecca and Jack, you know, struggling to kind of come to a compromise where they both kind of agree on how to deal with the babies, you know, whether they should, like, automatically respond to crying or whether they shouldn't. And then in the teenage section, Jack tells... Rebecca, that she's too easy on Kevin, that she, anytime Kevin thinks something gets hard, she goes ahead and lets him off the hook. She lets him quit. And Jack thinks that's going to end up making Kevin soft. And, you know, that actually motivates Kevin to, you know, prove his dad wrong, to push past it, and to actually get help from Randall to study his playbook and memorize his plays to get better at football. So that's pretty awesome. And in this moment here, you know, Kevin learns from Randall that the reason why Randall focuses so hard on his grades to, you know, do so well is because he is the only black kid in his school. You know, he wants to stand out for a positive reason. It's not just because he's a black kid. He's going, he has to be smart because people expect less of him to begin with because he's black and this is like the like late 80s early 90s like of course you know it's weird to say because that was more like 20 30 years ago but like even back then of course you know especially in the education system you know black kids especially in predominantly like white areas wouldn't be as like you know positively looked upon so it makes sense for Randall to feel that extra sense of pressure and you know that's exactly what he talked about with Kate and Kate brings it up later on when she talks to Kevin about kind of the, like the stuff that Randall went through that none of us really talked to him about. So that's pretty interesting. So other stuff in the present day story, we see that Kevin is kind of struggling to connect with his you know current director with the film he's working on. And uh, that's really frustrating him. And uh, he's kind of considering quitting too. But then he remembers like, no. Um, you know, I'm not going to do that because I want to make sure I can do something great for my mom. I want to take my mom to the Oscars while she can still remember it. I want her to have that moment. I want to be up on stage accepting an award and thank her right in front of everyone, millions of people, just so she knows that I'm thankful for everything she's done for me. And I want her to be there while she can still remember it. It's so fucking sweet. Kevin is such a sweetheart. I've grown to really really love Kevin as a character uh, his character development has been amazing so in terms of other present day stuff we actually see Kate uh, hang out with Ellie the mother of their soon to be adopted baby and you know during the ultrasound she like accidentally did slip and she came up with a name already for the kid and it kind of you know freaked Ellie out especially because the name Chloe has to do with a uh, childhood bully that actually kind of ruined her kind of reputation in the eyes of who would want to be her future husband. So that's, you know, obviously it stung a little bit. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. She also opens up about like, you know, contemplating about what to do with this baby when she had it, you know, after that one night. Then. You know, she even talks about like possibly thinking about abortion. And this opened up something huge for Kate. Okay, so if you guys remember last season, if you were watching last season, which I'm assuming you are because you're watching a review for a season 5 episode, but uh, Kate had a boyfriend when she was about 18 years old, a guy named Mark. You know, he was really into music. He also works at the record store. He was played by the actor who plays Ethan in the show Euphoria, if you watched Euphoria. And basically, we find out that or at least it's heavily implied that Kate is pregnant with Mark's baby here. Now we know for a fact that Kate does not have a baby uh, prior to baby Jack. 
So, putting two and two together, if she is actually pregnant, that means Kate had an abortion when she was much younger. And again, not getting into politics, not touching that at all. But I'm not, and I'm not judging Kate for any of this at all. And I don't want to hear any of these debates in the comments, to be honest, because it's like, let's, let's be honest, that shit gets real toxic real fast. So, none of that. But uh, it's leading us to um, speculate that Kate had an abortion of Mark's baby. And it makes sense, honestly. Mark was an abusive asshole, and I don't think she was in the right mental state at all to be ready to raise a kid. And especially if, you know, her kid uh, had a connection to Mark, like, it would have, it would give Mark a reason to be around, and she did not want to be around Mark, right? Mark clearly was abusive, I mean, verbally, we saw, we even saw him hit her once, and he locked her out of the cabin, like, what kind of asshole, I mean, come on, so it's, makes a lot of sense for Kate to do what she did if she did it uh, but we'll have to get confirmation on that in freaking January because this is us is taking a massive hiatus and will not be back until after the holidays which you know makes sense obviously they had to delay production because of COVID and stuff and uh, they were able to come back in time with enough episodes to you know tide us over for a little bit uh, but we're not going to be back until after the holidays, right after the new year. Um, so January 5th is when This Is Us is coming back. So let's talk about the last present day plot point, Randall. So Randall gives one of his daily bulletins, you know, as part of city council. He does these like kind of like live streams, kind of addressing his constituents and stuff. And uh, he gives this whole impassioned speech. Um, Malik... Uh, he agreed to have Malik shadow him, and so Malik is in charge of, like, running the webcam and basically, you know, turning off the stream when the stream is done. Um, now, Malik ended up having to deal with some stuff with his daughter Janelle on the phone, so he wasn't able to be uh, pay attention to when the stream was over, and so he left the camera on, and, uh, you know, Randall thought, okay, speech over, I can relax now, so, you know, he's getting to his usual wind-down routine, which apparently involves, uh, him taking off his shirt and dancing around. And so uh, the whole internet got to see Randall uh, dance around half naked. And, um, you know, as Jay Wan said, though, that camera out angle was pretty flattering. I mean, Sterling K. Brown is pretty jacked. Homie was looking good. He was looking real good. Like, <laughs> despite all the memes and all the different posts and stuff, I think it was a pretty good take. And we see at the very end there that that um, Asian dude that we saw featured in uh, last week's episode that was uh, in a relationship with Randall's mother actually sees the viral speech. And, you know, he goes back and he listens and he hears Randall mention his father, William Hill. So obviously Laurel would know would remember her husband, William, and she would know his name and stuff like that. And she probably talked to, you know, her current significant other about her ex, about William. Maybe she had met back up with him later in life. Who knows? But uh, now that guy is aware of Randall. So maybe more connections to Randall's mother will be established uh, in this uh, next section of the season. And I'm very excited to see that, where that leads. Uh, does this mean Randall has siblings? What's the whole deal with that? I'm very excited to see where this goes. But uh, let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments down below. What were some of your favorite parts? Uh, did you like Randall's uh, little wind down dance? I thought it was hilarious. You know, I feel bad for Malik, but I'm glad Randall gave him a second chance. And of course, you know, I'm interested to see where this whole Kate thing goes. I'm glad we're finally getting some like closure on the uh, Mark storyline from uh, the flashbacks. So very interested in that. But let me know your thoughts and feels in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. In the outro card, I will leave links my review of last week's episode of This Is Us, as well as a video YouTube series algorithm things you might like, which I hope you do. 
But until next time, guys, it's Jerry from TV Dama J, and it's time for me to get out of here. So I'll catch you guys in the next review, which for This Is Us won't be until 2021. So I'll see you next year, I guess, if you're only watching me for This Is Us. But hopefully you are checking out my other reviews because I review other great TV shows as well. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one, whichever video you see. But until then, peace. <laughs>